Hello, my name is Tom McCoy and I'm a cinematographer from Mesa, Arizona. Today I'm going to be bringing you a tutorial on easy color grading in Magic Bullet Looks. Magic Bullet Looks is a plugin that goes into Sony Vegas, After Effects, and Premiere. It may go into other programs, but that's all I've used it in. Um, I'm also going to have a tutorial on how to color grade in After Effects and Sony Vegas. So two different tutorials using just those plugins. If that's what you're interested in, I will have those up within the next couple weeks. So uh, come back for that. So before I start, I just want to touch on what color grading is and the difference between it and color correcting. If you're not interested in hearing that, then I will put an annotation on the screen probably about now to have you guys skip ahead and just get to the color grading. So for people who are still here, um, color correcting is different than color grading. Um, I got a lot of people asking me to do a color grading tutorial, so uh, that's what I'm doing. But color correcting is usually done first. Color correcting is basically taking, you know, if you had a two camera shoot, um, you'd be taking both the cameras and trying to match their colors together, and then you would put the color grade over the top of that. So color grading is taking your, you know, your color palette or something like that and actually applying um, a color grade to it. So actually enhancing the colors and changing them and things like that. So also before I start, I just want to say that my screen is not 100% calibrated. So just uh, what I see at home might be different from what you see at home. It has caused some problems um, in the past with some of my stuff, but you gotta deal with what you got, so um, I don't think it's that far off, but all right, let's get started. I have an adjustment layer right here, so we're just gonna go to Effect, Magic Bullet Looks, and apply it, and then press Edit. And I have my RGB Parade here, I'm gonna be using that to um, just check my levels and things like that. They look pretty even right now, I have a little bit more green than I would like, but just gonna bear through it because I'm not doing any color correcting so um, the two things we're gonna be using mainly is subject and post so this would be um, what it would look like if you applied this thing in camera and this is what it would look like if you applied it after so in, in post so I'm just gonna start here let's go to our tools and change the exposure a little bit we'll go up a quarter of a stop so 0.25 just pop that out a little bit more go back to the tools and now I'm gonna apply saturation still keeping it here in the subject because we're kind of correcting a little bit and I usually start my saturation with about hundred and forty and as you can see it popped out the skin tones and things like that around here and now I need to bring in some contrast so just drop that right there and I usually start that with about a 0.5. Um, that obviously changed our scope a little bit. That is what you want your scope to look like. Now there is a little bit of green here on what is supposed to be gray, so I'm actually gonna change that real quick. Drag a warm cool and change the, the tint on it. Wrong way. Oh, that looked, that looked good. All right, so that's a little bit more where I want it. That looks more level. Green, not green, okay. Okay, now we're actually gonna get to an actual color grade. So let's go to our tools and go to post and grab the warm cool tool and just drop it on there. So we're looking, the color palette for this film I did was very blue. So we're looking for cool colors in here. So if you go to the right, you're gonna get cool colors. If you go to the left, you're gonna get warm colors. On the tint, if you go to the right, you're gonna get green. If you go to the left, you're gonna get magenta. So just keep that in mind. Those are gonna be our best friends as we go through color grading. So we're going for a blue look. So we'll grab the warm cool and just go to the right. Until about right there looks pretty good. Overall blue image, not too much yet. Might mess with the tint a little bit. I shouldn't have to, but yeah, that looks good there. Then we'll go to tools again, and we'll grab my favorite tool, the Colorista three-way. So let me just explain what this is really quick. Uh, it is the color of your highlights, midtones, and shadows. Your highlights are the white areas. So this uh, panel right here of lights is white. 
Midtones is your grays, so this area here, here, his jacket is a midtone, things like that are going to be your grays. Uh, most of the image is usually a midtone. And then your shadows are your blacks. So this window here is a shadow, this pole, uh, this crease right here in his jacket is also a shadow. So I usually start with my midtones. I want some bluish midtones. So just click on the, the blue and let's actually go more this area. That's a good start there. I want some blue shadows, maybe a little darker. Let's uh, bring in some more contrast. There we go. And then I'm gonna leave my highlights the way they are. I don't want too much, too much blue in here. So that actually looks really nice so far. Uh, the skin tones are still nice in, in the oranges. You always wanna watch your skin tones unless you want your actor looking like an alien or something. But um, usually watch your skin tones, try to keep them as close to actual skin color as you can. Um, I might mess with this a little bit more, maybe not so blue. There we go. That looks really nice. So I mean, that is really all you have to do to get some nice color grading using, using uh, magic bullet looks. Um, I don't typically do any more than that. Sometimes, you know, I'll add like a print bleach bypass, um, which adds more contrast to your highlights. Um, gradual exposures, if you have like a, uh, a sunset or something, see it kind of exposes here and then it gradually exposes, <laughs> basically, upward. Uh, spot exposure I use a lot. It's really great for separating your talent from your background. Um, vignettes I use very often, um, not necessarily for this, but I mean, it, it might work. I don't know, I don't need to use it right now. Uh, but there's a lot of great tools in Magic Bullet Looks that you can use. Um, a lot of people have asked me, let's see what this looks like real quick. Oh, it looks great. Yeah, it looks really good. Let's compare it to a, that's our flat footage there. And that is our color grade. It looks really nice. Nice and cool. Skin tones look good. Not too dark. Um, so a lot of people ask me how I get my soft look, which basically is um, your blacks actually end up a little bit gray, but you keep your contrast at the same time. And I have two ways of doing that. Uh, there's one way to do it in Magic Bullet Looks. If you go to your tools, you grab the Light Flex. Um, what this does is it kind of washes out the image, um, but it takes your, your blacks and makes them a little bit more gray. So you can see it as I toggle it on and off. I usually set that to about a negative nine if I'm gonna use it, but I prefer not to use that tool because it does wash out the image a little bit. Um, what I use most of the time, um, if you click on your adjustment layer, go to effect, color correction, and exposure. If you click on offset and set it to 0 .001, um, it gives a real nice look. It keeps your your contrast, but it makes your um, your shadows a little bit more gray, and it kind of offsets it a little bit. Um, that's one thing that I use in pretty much all of my films, but some people may not like it, but color grading is all kind of interpretation and it's all kind of subjective, but that I like the way that it looks. Um, I'm not sure how it would look on your screens at home right now, but on my screen it looks it looks really nice. So that's just another trick that I use all the time in my color grades. So if I, as I toggle this, you can really see how much of a difference there is between you know shooting flat with CineStyle and um, the color grade. So I'm gonna, if you think you have a good grasp on the color grading, then um, I suppose that the tutorial would be over. But I'm also gonna do another example using warm colors. And I'm not gonna explain too much, I'm just gonna kinda go through it so you can see uh, what I'm doing, but I am gonna use another example here. So, um, for this image here, I wanna really bring out the oranges in the sky and the purple in the shadows. So, uh, let's click on the adjustment layer, go to effect, color correction, 
and magic bullet looks edit and I'm going to duplicate the same process I just did with the other um, color grade so grab the exposure put it in subject um, let's just go point one stops there that should help just a tiny bit grab some saturation I'm gonna go around hundred and forty percent pop out the orange in the sky that looks good grab some contrast now for this image uh, the subject and the background are almost the same color so I'm gonna use a little bit less contrast um, probably about there because I'm also going to add some purple in here and it might make it a little bit darker so go to post again warm cool and this time I'm going to use some warm colors about right there looks good change the tint a little bit that looks good colors to three way and you can usually do these pretty fast to get a rough color grade too let's do some orange midtones purple shadows, that's probably actually pretty close to what I want. And let's do some yellow highlights. See what that looks like. And already we have a huge, huge difference in color. Grab this real quick. Throw that on there. A couple adjustments I need to make, but for the most part it looks, looks pretty good. Shadows a little bit less. More orange there. All right, yeah, that looks better. All right, well, that is pretty much it for the tutorial. Um, it's really simple using Magic Bullet Looks. It's great software. When I first used it, I was, I was very intimidated by it. But once you figure out the process and you kind of find a, a system that you use, um, you can do some really nice work using magic bullet looks. This might have a little bit too much contrast in it, but um, it's fine for the tutorial. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm gonna be doing another tutorial using After Effects plugins. Um, maybe I'll do one for Premiere, but I am definitely gonna do one for After Effects and Sony Vegas. Um, I know that I went through this pretty fast, and that's because it's a lot to cover, but um, it is all just reference. Just take what I said and kind of mess around with your own stuff and figure out new things that work for you. Um, thank you very much for watching, guys. Please leave a like and give me some feedback, and please subscribe if you want more content like this. Thank you very much. My name is Tom McCoy. Have a good one.